Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to create a vanity URL for our Facebook business page. I've pulled up the business page that I have here for Social Media Savvy Pets. I just started this page yesterday, and as you can see, I have 31 people that like this so far. Uh, in order to do this, you need to have at least 25 people that like it. Uh, Facebook won't let you uh, create the vanity page until you have at least 25 likes. So that's what you want to aim for. And once you get there, um, you can go to this URL, which is Facebook www.facebook.com slash username. Put that into your browser, and it will bring you to the wizard to create the, the name that you like. Now, every page that you have, every business page that you have, can have a separate name. And as you can see, I have several here. Uh, so I'm just going to choose the social savvy, uh, social media savvy pets, uh, so that we can name that one. And I want to name it social media savvy pets. So we're going to put that in here where dot s for the name. I'm going to capitalize the first letter of, of uh, each word simply because it's easier to see what it, re what it uh, is supposed to be saying. Although in the real URL, once we get it published, it won't really make a difference. Now, one of the reasons that we want to do this, if we go back and look at the other page, you'll see that the UR URL for the original uh, business page is quite long. There are a lot of numbers, a lot of letters. It's very difficult to remember. So by doing this, what we're going to end up with is a page that says, uh, or UR, URL that says www.facebook.com slash our business name. So it's much easier to remember. So back to where we were before. The next thing we need to do is to check and see whether that name is available. So I'll click where it says check availability. Hopefully it will be. And it says that it is. Now once you've chosen this, you can't change it. So be careful, make sure that you choose the name you really want. Uh, one of the things to consider when you choose the name for your social, uh, for your business page on Facebook uh, is that you want to try and choose a name that has at least one of your keyword phrases in it. Doesn't necessarily need to correspond to your business name. People are going to be searching for you based on your keyword phrases. So if you have at least one of those in, in the name of your Facebook business site, it's going to make it easier for you to, to be found there. Uh, that's why I've so chosen Social Media Savvy Pets as opposed to uh, Social Savvy Pets, which is what I call my business. So at any rate, uh, once we know that the name is available and we know that uh, it's the name that we want because, again, you can't change it once it's set. Um, there are a couple of other things you'll want to read through here. You need to make sure that you're not uh, infringing on any trademark rights. Uh, you want to make sure that you're the owner of the site, obviously, because it can't be transferred to another person. Uh, you can't... Uh, can't simply acquire the username so that you can sell it in the future. Uh, Facebook simply doesn't allow that. And uh, you can't be using the, uh, the name for something illegal or unauthorized. So once we know that that's the name that we want to keep, we're going to click Confirm. And it's telling us that uh, the username 
Social Media Savvy Pets has been set for Social Media Savvy Pets. And now we can send our, our uh, fans to this name, which is much easier to remember than the old one. Let's just go ahead and pull that up. There we go. So now we're back on our social savvy, uh, social media savvy pet site. Just go back to the wall here. And as you can see, our uh, username is now much more user friendly than it was before. It's just switched over to the wall here because I just clicked on that. But now it is. Uh, Facebook.com slash social media savvy pets as opposed to this horrendous thing that it was before. So that's how you uh, how you obtain a vanity URL from Facebook. It's not that difficult. Uh, the main things to remember, one of the main things to remember is that you need at least 25 people to like your site in order to do that. So that's one of the things you need to, to, uh, to aim for when you first start your site. 